welcome in this video lecture we will continue our topic on testing of hypothesis for variable data so as we have discussed in our last uh, two to three videos about one sample t test pair t test anova test as well as two sample independent t test so we are going to discuss these tests using a case study of a student's performance data so you can download this data set from the kaggle.com in using this particular link or either you can download this data set from our website so let's first of all discuss the data set and then we will try to analyze it okay so the data set we have that we have first variable that is a gender which is a text type uh, variable okay we have a race we have parents education lunch whether the students um, prepare the test or not okay uh, what are the math score what are the reading score writing overall performance as well as uh, they have worded okay that that score is the overall performance is acceptable or not okay then i have basically rearranged uh, the subjects as well as their score okay so uh, we are interested in our first hypothesis that we want to test that they are claiming that the student's performance in mathematics is 70 marks or more okay whereas our alternative hypothesis that is that the students didn't get the 70 marks it is on average less than 70 so in that particular case what kind of test we can apply so if the data for, uh, uh, of the mathematics variable follow the normal distribution so because that is in a scenario of one sample t test because we are comparing the performance of the student to a target number which is 70 so that means in this particular case we can apply one sample t test if the data of the mathematics score follow the normal distribution so let's analyze whether the mathematics score variable do follow the normal distribution or not so how we can do that so first of all either we can go stats basic statistics normality test we can click on the mathematics okay we are going to apply anderson darling test press okay so as we can see that the p value of the mathematics score it is greater than five percent so that means except h not except h not means the data do follow the normal distribution okay or either we can go for stats basic statistics graphical summary and then we can click on the mathematics score okay so here we will get the summary of the data again we are getting the anderson darling test the p value is greater than 5% which is 0 0.086 furthermore if you see the value of the skewness over here although it is less than 0 so based on the skewness we might say that it is following a negative skewed distribution okay the curve look like but we have to ultimately make the decision based on the inference statistics instead of the descriptive statistics okay uh, so that means based on the inferential mean anderson darling test because the p value is greater than five percent so we will say that data do follow the normal distribution as well as if we see the shape of the histogram it seems like a normal distribution okay so that means now i can apply the one sample t test so how can i do that i can go to stats basic statistics then one sample t okay because we have in a one column variable then we are sending max perform hypothesis what is the hypothesis mean that is 70 okay and the alternative is less than so that means we are going to click option and in an alternative we are going to pick less than so alpha i am using by default which is five percent so if you are interested to draw certain graph so you can click over here press okay okay so first of all they are showing us the descriptive statistics it is saying that the average marks of the students are 66.08 whereas the standard deviation is 15.163 as well as the standard error is 0.479 okay so if we are going to take the decision based on the descriptive statistics it seems that so their claim is wrong the average score is less than uh, 70 okay but we cannot make the final conclusion based on the descriptive statistics so we have to take the decision based on the inferential statistics so as we can see that the p value is 0 
so which is less than 0 0.05 so that means we are going to reject h0 so that means we are going to accept h1 that their claim is wrong that the students got the score in mathematics is more than or equal to 70 so they are getting basically less than on average 70 marks so similarly we can see from this even this histogram as well so because this bottom side is indicating the confidence interval range because the h naught is not lying within this confidence interval range so we are going to say reject h naught same is the case in an individual plot same is the case in a box plot even we can see from the confidence interval as well okay because our upper bound is 66 so it's right now it is saying that the maximum number we can get which is 66 okay so that means the 70 is greater than the 66 which is basically lying uh, in the outer region so that way we can say that reject h0 that means uh, we are going to accept h1 so accept h1 means the students uh, are getting the marks on average in mathematics less than 70 okay now the second hypothesis i want to test is that that the average performance of the male and the average performance of the female in a mathematics are equal whereas alternative is it is not equal so so that means we have a variable called gender in which we have the male and female and we have the mathematics score so i want to compare the gender with respect to the math score so as we know that first of all uh, in that particular scenario what kind of test i can apply okay so i can apply two sample independent t test okay because i want to compare the average score of male and female so in a two sample independent t test we have to check the two assumption number one is the normality of the data number two is the equality of the variances okay so how we can do that first of all as we know that uh, we can check the normality of the math score through anderson darling which we have already done uh, because the p-value is greater than five percent so that means data do follow the normal distribution okay so now we need to check the equality of the variances okay so how we can do that we can go to stats anova test for equal variance so in a response variable we have math score in a factor we have a gender so in an option uh, we need to tell whether you want to apply f test or Leibniz test because the data do follow the normal distribution so we can click over here so once we click over here it is going to be apply the f test okay so press ok and again press ok so in a result tab as you can see that null hypothesis all the variances are equal in an alternative at least one of the variance is different so uh, our alpha is five percent and we can go to the p-value and we have applied the f test because this p-value is greater than our alpha value which is five percent okay so we will say accept h naught so what is accept h naught that means all the variances are equal okay so even we can apply the Leibniz test over here or we can do that we can go to one uh, uh, test stats ANOVA test for equal variance and in an option we can uncheck this one so so now it is going to apply the Leibniz test so Leibniz test is also saying this one that the data uh, both the groups having the equal variances so that means both the assumptions are fulfilled now we can apply the two sample independent t test so how we can do that we can go to stats okay basic statistics two sample t okay in a sample we can throw the variable math in a sample id we can send gender and in a option we are going to say assume equal variance so alpha i am considering five percent okay the alternative is not equal so where h not is going to be equal so press ok and again press ok so our mu1 is basically representing the female score mu2 is representing the male score so right now it is showing us from the descriptive statistics the average mean score of the female is 63.6 whereas the male is 68 
so it seems that male are doing good in math score okay but we have to again check whether it is right or wrong to, with the help of uh, the null hypothesis okay with, with the help of inferential statistics okay so our h naught is that the male score uh, is equal to the female score alternative is not equal so because the p value is again less than 5% so we will say reject h naught that means the average performance in the mathematics of the male and female are not equal and we can easily see from the descriptive statistics that male are doing good even we can draw the box and whisker plot as well in order to represent this graphically so if i go to box plot because we have one y with group okay that means with group mean we are going to apply with respect to the gender okay the variable is math okay the categorical variable is gender so in a data view so i am sending gender over here in order to get the graphs in a colored form press ok and again press ok so over here if we can see that uh, this maroon color is indicating male this is female so it seems that on average male are doing good compared to female even most some females are produ uh, are performing very low in mathematics because they, these are indicating the outliers okay okay so overall conclusion is that male are doing good in mathematics score so even we can uh, apply uh, instead of two tail tests we can also apply one tail test in order to confirm this thing how we can do that uh, we can go to options so let's say i am going to apply less than okay and press okay and if i am saying press okay because right now mu1 is representing female and uh, and the mu2 is representing male so i have picked the alternative less than so i am saying that basically male are doing good compared to the female so that's why it is saying reject h naught where h naught rejection means that female are doing good compared to the male so because h1 is accepted and mu2 is representing the male score so that means male are significantly doing good compared to the female the same thing we have found from the descriptive statistics as well as the box plot now let's discuss the last uh, test which is basically i want to check whether the different race uh, students are doing good in the mathematics score or not okay so because we have uh, more than two categories in race okay so that means in that particular case we can apply one way ANOVA but in order to apply one way ANOVA again I need to check two assumption one is is the mathematics variable score do follow the normal distribution is the variances are equal so we have already checked that the data of the mathematics variable do follow the normal distribution but because uh, uh, we have more than two groups now in, uh, in order to check the equality of variance uh, we can apply the two type of tests either we can apply Barlett test and either we can apply Leibniz test if the data of the variable is follow the normal distribution for more than two groups in order to check the equality of variance we can apply Barlett test so how we can do that we can go to stats ANOVA test for equal variances so over here i am sending maths and the factor right now we have race okay and uh, in an option i am saying equal so that means use test based on normal distribution so press okay so as you can see that our h naught is all variances are equal alternative is at least one and it is applying barlett's test because we are saying that um, the data do follow the normal distribution and the Barlett test p value is 0 0.396 so we know that if the p value is greater than the alpha value we will say accept h naught that means in all the group variances are equal so even we can also check this one uh, with the Leibniz test as we have uh, earlier discussed that the Leibniz test is the more robust so let's recheck with the help of Leibniz test whether the variances of the groups are equal or not so how we can do by unchecking this one 
so even our Leibniz test is also saying that the variances of all the groups are equal which means except H naught so that means we can apply one way ANOVA with equal variances okay so how we can do that we can go to stats ANOVA one way ANOVA in a response we are going to send maths in a factor we are going to send race okay uh, if um, the H naught is going to be rejected so let's uh, first of all test this one so as we can see that our H naught is all the groups mean are equal in the mathematics whereas all the groups are not equal is the alternative hypothesis and one way ANOVA is right now saying that that uh, reject H naught that means uh, in um, the performance in the mathematics uh, between the groups are not equal okay now in order to check which group is doing good in mathematics and which is not so we can apply post hoc test so how we can do that we can go to stats ANOVA and one way ANOVA we can click comparison and then we can apply techie test okay so test press ok and again press ok okay so first of all it is showing us the one way ANOVA result okay as we can see that reject H naught that means all the variances are not equal then we are moving towards the techie pairwise comparison so in a group information we can see that group E having the uh, alphabet A whereas group D and C having the alphabet D whereas group C, B, A having the alphabet C so what does this mean this mean group E is different from the others whereas group D and C are equal because they are uh, basically having the same alphabet alphabet which is D whereas the group C, B, A again having the same alphabet that is also mean they are equal okay so but in order to know which group is different so that is B and A they are equal because the P value is greater than 5 percent C and A is also equal D and A is different from each other similarly so against every test we can check if the p value is greater than 5% so those two groups are doing equally good in mathematics on average if the p value is less than 5% that means those two groups are not equally doing good okay so in order to check which group is doing good so we can see from the group information so group e, e is basically doing um, on average in mathematics very good compared to the others because the average score of this group is 73.82 in the mathematics whereas group D having the average score 67 this is 64 and so on so I hope you got the idea uh, regarding the students performance data point of view so how we can apply these testing of five causes to make the conclusion about the population so thank you so much see you in the next video